Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another video covering OSU football. I'm Ryan Nozinski, joined here, as always, by Sadiq Tuma, the sports editor here at the Okali. And the Okali has you covered, right? But you know who else has you covered this season? Who? Rodarius Williams, a guy that I mistakenly called AJ Green the other day, and that was a slip because... I mean, he's just so freaking good this season. Let's talk about Rodarius Williams, what he's been able to do this season. Obviously, you saw the game against West Virginia, the four pass breakups, uh, and, and really just dominating the wide receivers and, and the biggest weapons on every team so far. So what have you seen from him that, that really makes him special this season? You know, everything, right? First of all, he's got good size at 6'1", mm -hmm. great physical tools. He's definitely fast enough, and he's sticking in coverage, right? Especially in press coverage. It's all about technique. He's really good with that and then fluid hips. And he just sticks so well to his man. He understands the film, right? That's the biggest thing. When you're a cornerback, your reaction skills are very important. But being able to, you know, study a wide receiver, a quarterback's tendencies, a wide receiver's tendencies, understand the play calls that are usually put against you, to like learn so much and take in that knowledge, that's how you really dominate game day. Yeah. yeah. And Rod yeah, Rodarius, you know, talked about that post game, and that's really what helps cornerbacks. And he's awesome in coverage for sure you know he's sticking like blue then I know this is almost like a broken record but mm -hmm. his tackling right one of the most underrated aspects of a cornerback is his tackling not just in run defense right that's almost like the least mm -hmm. thing when you're talking about coverage but you talk about in space right in one-on-one -on -one. especially with the how innovative offenses are nowadays especially in the big 12 they're constantly trying to get running backs wide receivers tight ends get them into space into one-on-one -on -one matchups where those talented receivers, right, have to, like a Marquise Brown, like a Denzel Mim, right, get these guys into space and see what they do one-on-one. -on -one. And it's very difficult, even if you're in an elite corner, just to make a tackle. But Rodarius has been making those tackles, right, one-on-one -on -one in space, and that's what's making him so dominant. And then you talk about the point of attack, right? When the ball's in the air, because you might be playing great coverage, but where are your ball skills at? Can you deflect the ball when mm -hmm. it's about to be there? And there's some guys that are also physical corners, right, where Bonte Davis used to do this all the time, right, in the NFL where when the ball is about to be caught, can you hit the guy hard enough where the ball comes out or attack the ball or just play physical, right? Mm -hmm. And he's doing all of those. He's excelling in every category mm -hmm. and he's having a phenomenal season. Yeah, and he, the thing I like about Rodarius too is he can do it at any level of the field too. Right. You talk about a guy that, that a wide receiver could be 50 yards down the field yeah. running around, right? And, and being in that deep threat and Rodarius will be there in these clutch situations, swatting the ball away. Like you said, right. physicality, he definitely has that element to his game where he's able to go up there and swat balls away. Right. And But also you saw the attack against West Virginia, right? You saw these these short little slant routes, the right. ones, but and the way he was able to stick on them, like you said, fluid hips, the way he's able to to be so fluid in that and, and to really, you know, maintain that coverage is such a great sign for things going forward for Rodarius. I mean, you just hope that he can continue this the rest of the season, and I think he can. He this did. season, he's proven his consistency. He's proven the fact, like, he literally said during the press conference after the game, he was watching film on Sam James and was studying right. him like a cheetah studies a, I don't even know, a gazelle. You know, like, that's what he does uh, in, in, in terms of preparing for these games, and you could definitely see it pay off in dividends on the field. Like, Sam James is a very talented sure. receiver, right? One of the best in the Big 12. Keelan Stokes, another one, right? Rodarius has been shutting down all these guys. Mm -hmm. You know, Keelan Stokes had a great game last year. Look at him this year. Didn't do too much, right? Sure. A lot of that had to do with Rodarius. And Sam James is very talented. He was their leading receiver coming in. He was their leading receiver last year. Had like 70 receptions. Completely shut up. Through two games, or just two games, but like Rodarius has not allowed a single single yard in coverage. Right? He's had he's had four targets on him last game. Mm -hmm. None of that. But the best plays are the ones you don't see on TV, right? right? The ones where he's just sticking so hard, there's not even a point of looking that way. Yeah. Right? You can't if you're a quarterback, you're Jared Daigie, you don't even want to test mm -hmm. that. And just that's just how good he is. And with a grain of salt, through two games, Rodarius Williams has been one of the best corners in college football. Thank you for bringing that up. That was my next question for you. Where do you think at the end of the season, right? Because I, I agree completely with you. When you talk about cornerbacks, and we talk about many, actually many members of the secondary, right. you sort of look at stats and you can almost throw them out the window because you're like, okay, yeah. But there's a reason they're not throwing over to him, right? Uh, and, and it's because he has that great coverage. That's what the scouts look at. That's what everyone looks at. Uh, that's what people should look at. Um, where do you see him at the end of the year? Do you think he can keep this consistency based on maybe what you saw last year too? Yeah, I mean, just, just from what I've seen this year and the mm -hmm. progression he's taken and the steps forward he's taken, I think he can. But the thing you're going to kind of see is that inconsistency because he plays in the Big 12, right? Mm -hmm. It's something we talked about before just an hour ago that 
even if you have the best corner in sure. college football, in the NFL, wherever, he's going to get, if he's lined up against, you know, like Marquise Brown, C.D. Lamb, right? All these talented guys like Jalen Rager. Think about all the receivers that come here. Having them lined up, right, against an elite corner, whoever it might be, mm -hmm. he's going to get some yards, right? There might be a game where that cornerback plays pretty well, but still give up 100 yards. That's just how talented these corners are. Sorry, wide receivers are. Mm -hmm. But even if that's the case, I still think Rodarius should be recognized for his talent. But I still think just from what I've seen so far and the trust that Jim Knowles has blitzing, playing cover zero, like you mentioned so much, bringing so much pressure, you have to have trust in your corners. And Rodarius is a big part of that. So I think he could still stick just from what I've seen so far. It's just going to be interesting to see the stats at the end of the year. And it's, it's, it's just a tough thing because of all positions that you take, Defense in general, it's kind of hard to just solely base on sure. stats, right? You can look at rushing yards. You can look at wide receivers, wide receiving yards, uh, or sorry, receiving yards, uh, passing yards, all those things, right? But there's not really a stat where you can say, oh, look, he has blah, blah, interception. Yeah. He has blah, blah, interception. Correlation, not causation, mm -hmm. right? There's a, there's a difference, right? And it's, it's almost like it's the plays you don't see. It's really hard to put a numeric value. But I just think the production might, like, some receivers might go off a little bit. Sure. But just the way he's played, it's, it's so exciting. And... You want to just keep seeing him going. And I think he's going to sustain it. I think he's going to continue to compete. And he might just end up being one of the best in the nation by the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could definitely see that. And we will we will definitely be following that all year long on the Okali Sports football coverage for Ryan Ozinski. Joined, as always, by Sadiq Tuma. Have a great day.